Daniel Gill will enter the ring first. Probably his greatest attribute as a fighter is that he's a volume puncher. Decisions. He seems to be a guy who's just given to being in close fights, Max. He can move, he can stay on the outside. He's not just a one-dimensional fighter. That said, 30-something years ago, he's going to have to be there, not be there. Upset. That day, his father, Gennady Ivanovich Golovkin, suffered a fatal heart attack. The distraught son. Max Kellerman, what's most fundamental to his ability to not skill? Is it the thudding power with both hands, or is it the footwork which seems to have punching power? His opponent immediately sees his balance is so good, he cuts off the ring so And well. his opponent therefore has to expend enormous energy, defensive energy, emotional energy. The small room here at the Garden, he demonstrated that he's got a good chin as he took some big shots. Uh, ladies and gentlemen from the... Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Real deal! Triple J Golovkin. Gentlemen, we went over the rules. Gentlemen, we went over the rules and self at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck to both of you. Good luck to both of you. Let them up. Gennady Golovkin. Can he continue to do that? as his level of continues to rise. Gil believes he's good even if no one else does. And if the level of competition is indeed rising, it isn't rising fast shelf superstars, and so far, none of them have chosen to do so. So, what serves Golovkin's purpose? A chink in the armor that might suggest to others that we need Golovkin. There's something to be said for both, as long as he wins the fight. His fans want to see Knockout. We were discussing about Golovkin's positioning. Knowing he's such a big hitter and knowing he's frequently in punching range, the other guy here, Gil, has to constantly do things to keep him off. And so far, Gil... Golovkin's jab is becoming part of the legend because opponents have been known to go down, as did Osama. Golovkin knocked him down three times in seventh round, seven rounds on the way to the executive knockout. Golovkin showing nice little defensive maneuvers with his shoulders. Just raising his shoulder and deflecting the shot. And there's the footwork. Gil trying to slip away to the right. Golovkin traps him. Hooking off the jab and making it look good. Left hook to the back. He can destroy the type of fighter, but he's patient. Good right hand by Gil. Over the top of the hook. Oh. Now Gil goes down without a punch. Cameraman Golovkin was trapping him into the corner. A camera right. through it momentarily discomforting to the Australian fighter. Golovkin stepped away and gave him the time to get up. Now combination punching against the ropes by Golovkin. He cuts off the ring. And so the ring, every pass is a point. Three minutes. One thing you don't need against Gennady Golovkin is for the round to be a minute too long. Time. Finally, it comes to Luis, man. <coughs> okay, you see he's not going to go anywhere, right? He's going to stay right there. Okay, we got to make sure that we're busy with short lead shots until it's... And there's blood already on the face of Daniel Gill. You can see that in the Strangest corner. round of the year so far. A cameraman allowed his strap just to kind of hang out on the ring apron. Yep. Catching Gill's ankle. That, plus that was an odd occurrence. And then the clock was allowed to run to four minutes rather than the normal three. Above the right eye. And Golovkin is going to work. Body shot, hard right hand up there. Down goes Gill. First knockdown of the fight. And Gill's thinking, I didn't do anything wrong. How did that happen? Hey, come here. Come to me. Here goes, guys. But Golovkin has grabbed Golovkin and then spin him. More and more, Gil realizes sheer volume punching won't do it. So Gil's muscling up and trying to put as much as he can on every punch. Meanwhile, Golovkin looks extraordinarily relaxed. Gil complained after the knockdown. He didn't say anything, but he made a motion with his hand as though 
Golovkin had hit him with a rabbit punch in the back of the head. It was difficult to determine with a naked eye exactly what punch caused the knockdown. Yeah, it was hard to see if one punch caused it. Good left hook by Gia. Yeah. Even if, and, and Golovkin with him on the ropes again, even if he doesn't have the punching power to drive Golovkin back, he might want to try breaking Golovkin. Heel making a spirited hey, effort. Good oh. left hook by Golovkin. Break, break, break. Let him out. Step back, step back. Right hand by Golovkin. Drives Heel into the ropes. People have asked me often, Jim, who does Golovkin yeah, remind for me. it? But he does certain things like Joe Lewis. Short, Time. straight, powerful punches. You're not selling. You know, you're sitting your punch is really good, okay? Give me an iron, nice Joe. Fight. An iron. Nice fight, guys. Left, left hand misses. misses, right hand, there it is. You could see it kind of great, it hit him, but slid across the back. Punches, incidentally, Jim, those were more. All yeah, fighters counted by CompuBox, averaging 12 jabs landed per round. Nobody else lands as many. More wildly, than we've seen in recent fights at times. Right. Step back, step back. He'll have to take advantage of it when Golovkin misses the way he did. He'll much more heel cornered again. Good body shot by Gil right. with the right hand. Tasted Gill's power in the first round or two, or at least he is walking toward him. Walking him down, yeah. He continues to look very relaxed. Oh, yeah. He's against the ropes, cornering him and hammering him like that body kick. Down goes Gill again on a brilliant right hand. Yeah. Left hook to the body and a right hand, and Gill trying to get his head Come together. Here. Come here. And Gil he was trying to land his shots in the exchange with Golovkin. But in addition to having real punching power, it right there. Spectacular. Gil lasts just as long as Matthew Macklin did to four minutes. Against Darren Barker and Anthony Mundine and Felix Sturm, Sebastian Sylvester. Well, Gil trying to exchange with him, figures that's the best time to hit him. Clips him with a nice little right hand. But, yeah. That Golovkin is throwing. Many middleweights in the world who could last past that. Right, it was a one-punch knockout. And that hit was flush by a Gil right hand. Extraordinary. As is just about everything he does. So that's knockout number 17 Seven. out of 30 fights as a professional. And for Daniel Gill, it's the third loss of his Gennady Triple G Golovkin. So good boy nation is out there celebrating.